everyone, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I'm in a different filming location. My ring light has broken. So I've moved up to my daughter's room for a little bit of filming until the ring light arrives in the new year. Um, so this is where I am. So um, this is all natural lighting, which I used to film with always a long time ago and now it looks really weird to see just like natural lighting but um hopefully it's okay for you um and yeah let's just get started with december favorites um i'm very very late in filming this um fortunately i was for me i was out of the country for christmas which was lovely and for a long time we didn't we booked it like over a year ago wasn't sure if it was going to happen and then it did and it was lovely um but now on the come down of that we are in isolation for two or three days just while we wait for some test results to come back which is the uk requirements at the moment so I couldn't go out and get anything so I'm trying to batch film but uh, yeah I'm meant to be part of a collaboration for year favourites so that is going to be coming I'm going to be late uploading that um, but it is coming so December favourites today year favourites um, later in the week when I film doesn't look very happy and uh, yeah let's just get started I haven't got many so here they are for you um, I think it's literally like five new wear, five rewears, five old ones or something, but let's dive in. We have one mainstream of the new ones, and this is Essie's June in Bloom. I picked this up from TK Maxx, just kind of grabbed it because it was pretty, so it is a baby pink with a strong silver shimmer to it. Um, then a few people commented on it when I posted it on Instagram, I'm like, what collection is this from? I just presumed it was from some spring collection, which it was, but it's actually from one of the Scandinavian exclusives um, that sometimes then migrate to the UK after they were released. So you might not be able to find this if you're in the US, um, but it was a really nice polished tube coat. It's nice and pretty in pastel. June in Bloom by Essie. I have one UK indie, and this is Prism Polishes Get Swifty. Uh, this was part of the PolishCon UK that we did online in September, um, and I picked this one up. I think the theme was space. Um, it's just a really pretty, like, kind of carnival firework explosion, where it's a navy blue base, and then there's tons of flakies in there, and the flakies are all colours, all tones. Um, they are green and orange and purple and red and really, really densely packed in there. So hopefully you'll see from the swatch a little bit better than my description. But two coats of Get Swifty by Prison Polish. I then have one that I've had for a really long time and this is Venus by Ethereal Lacquer. And I don't, does Ethereal Lacquer exist anymore? I'm not sure. Um, and this was part of their Hella Handmade Creations Planets season, Seasons series, which was stunning. And I have quite a lot of them. And this was the December 2019 one. So I've held on to this for some time. It's just a really light, nice light purple within a ton of holographic in there. And also some sort of shimmery tones. I didn't know how this was going to look on my skin tone, but I needed to buy it because of how it looked on the swatches skin tones. But actually it was stunning and I should have worn this the minute I got it because I regret not wearing it sooner. It was absolutely stunning. Cat tail. Got a cat friend today. Um, absolutely stunning. Loved it. Wore it for multiple days. So that was Three Coats of Venus by Ethereal Lacquer. And I will link to all the indies down below for you. We then have Starry Sky, which is Polish Pickup August from by Danny Vienna. And this is beautiful. It's a blue jelly crelly base. And then we have uh, light blue stars and hexes, yellow hexes and stars, and then circles and navies. So it's meant to look like that famous painting that the name is now eluding me. Is it literally Starry Sky or Starry Night? Is it Van Gogh? Something like that. So it's the blue with then all these pops of the glitters in there and the stars and the circles and the hexes. Uh, it looks stunning. Just what I expect from by Danny Vienna. They have great polishes. So a three coat of Starry Sky by Danny Vienna. Another Crelly, and this one is Fat Flower Gleam and Glow, and this is by Glam Polish. This is part of their Rapunzel Tangled collection. I picked this one up in its D stash because it's just the most pretty, ultra feminine, girly, cutesy polish ever. So it's a beautiful pastel yellow base, and then there is neon pink. Um, hexes and purple hexes in there and just the combination of the yellow the pink and the purple is just so pretty and it's actually very Rapunzel it kind of reminded me there of the hair a hair which is all the flowers kind of plaited in there I just thought it was so cute um, and I love glam polish and their crellies so that one there was another three coater flower gleam and glow glam polish and our last new one for December was a Bugsy Malone by the Don Diva um, I don't have a lot of experience with this brand I think I only own maybe four or five but all the ones that I've tried have been really, really nice. This one was so different and unique. And again, I grabbed this in a D stash. It's kind of like a ladybird, which is, which is which is on the bottle, which is also super cute, where it's kind of like an off-whitey pink base. And then there is blue 
there's not blue, I'm lying to you. There is red and black glitters in there and also some kind of opalescent -y, warm, like duochrome ones and it all just comes together and it's just so ultra stunning when you put it on and so different and something really eye-catching um, and something that, that will stand out for sure. Um, so the Don Diva Bugsy Malone three coats. On to the rewears. Now these are all mainstream rewears. The first one I wore in my last lot of batch filming and this one is called Emerald Sparkle by China Glaze. If you're familiar with Dorothy Who or Ruby Pumps, it is the green equivalent of that and it came out in that same collection I believe. It's always a bit of a mystery to me that collection. So there was a Wizard of Oz collection and like five of them or six of them are very easy to find but then Emerald Sparkle isn't always in the reviews, it isn't always as part of the collection so I don't know if that was added on or it was special, I'm not sure but it's stunning and if you can get it you should, it's just that green with green shimmer in there, so good, two coats, Emerald Sparkle, China Glaze. I then wore a bright red and this one is Sonia and this is a bright pink from Zoya with a drop or two of pink in there so it's a really really super hot uh, chilly, spicy red, a uh, nice easy cream formula, two coats, Sonia, cat's now knocking the, knocking the tripod, Sonia by Zoya. Favourite Christmas combination of mine is this one by OPI which is Comet in the Sky and I wear it normally over black so I'm hoping that's what of my, my swatch is of when I put it up but it might not be. Um, it's just really fun, I love this, it's just a strange mixture, I think they've re released it a few times under different names but you have black glitters in there, there's then these kind of blue reflective ones and gold reflective ones and the, the hexes are really really large so wearing it over black you do lose the black hexes but I just think that the kind of translucent -y, shimmery sh reflective blue and gold ones look phenomenal over black so just one coat of Comet in the Sky by OPI and I wore it over black but I'm not sure what the picture is of that'll be a surprise for you and me when I edit two more OPIs we have Ginger's Revenge this is just a nice festive darkish red cream color that I thought I would grab and wear I tried to wear some seasonal colors I tried and then I re-wore again Susie the First Lady of Nails. I wore this last month and this month, not on purpose. It was literally after I wore it for a day or so, I was like, I think I literally just wore this. So obviously it's a good one, a nice khaki, dirty, ugly, pretty, Christmassy kind of green. Susie the First Lady of Nails, OPI. So those were my December favourites. Like I mentioned at the start, I'm going to be doing my favourites for 2021, but that will probably be up in a few days' time. It's part of a collab, so I'm sorry that I'm late to that, but I will link all the people down below in that video when I get there. Um, so that will be in my next filming session. Hopefully I'll have my ring light. Not really sure yet. And I also have the Zoya Holiday Collection, which is one that I'm wearing today, but I have suffered a nail break, so I'm just giving that a few more days to um, grow out, and then I will wear, swatch the last two polishes that I have in that Christmas collection. So what you've got coming up is another empties video that I'm filming today. You have the another mega haul video that I pre-filmed before Christmas. You then have two collabs. One will be the year favourites, one will be another fan favourite collab that I'm going to do. So yeah, there's lots of videos coming um, and we will chat more about that in the new year. But I hope you had an amazing Christmas in whatever capacity you could and um, wishing you all the best for the new year and yeah come back and watch the videos once I work through them all give me a thumbs up subscribe let me know your December favorites in the comments and I will see you soon